1 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 25. He took bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This, this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. Brethren, the results for diets and exercise come from rules, routine, and regimentation. The results from the Holy Communion come from relationship, revelation, and understanding the redemptive work of Christ. The Communion is about God's love. The Holy Communion is about His power to heal you and deliver you from every sickness and disease. And this is why the Apostle Paul wrote in the verses we just read that our Lord Jesus wants us to partake of the Holy Communion in remembrance of Him. When the Jewish people use the word remembrance, it is much stronger word than just a passive or sentimental remembering. It has the idea of re reenactment of going through the event again. The Holy Communion is about reenacting all Jesus went through, seeing his body broken as you break the bread in your hands and seeing his blood being shed <coughs> for you as you drink of the cup. The Holy Communion is about actively valuing the cross and seeing how powerful it is for you today as you remember it was for you that the King of Kings suffered. Did you notice that our Lord Jesus told us to partake of the Holy Communion in remembrance of him and not in remembrance of our medical conditions. There was a time when many of the children of Israel were dying from snake bites in the wilderness. When Moses prayed that the Lord would take the serpents away, God responded to Moses in Numbers chapter 21 verse 8, to make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole and it shall be that everyone who is bitten when he looks at it shall live. Brethren, God did not take away the serpents in the wilderness when they were biting the Israelites. His response was to instruct Moses to make a replica of the very thing that was killing them, the serpents. And so to set it on a pole for all to look at. So Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole. And so it was. If a serpent had bitten anyone, when he looks up at the bronze serpent, he lived. Numbers chapter 21 verse 9. The serpent on the pole is a picture of our Lord Jesus Christ being lifted up on the cross. Suspended between heaven and earth. Rejected by man and also by his own father because he was carrying all our sins. On that cross, Jesus bore every consequence and every case of sin that you and I should have experienced. And that includes every sickness and every disease. Today, whatever your condition, come to the Lord's table.
come beholding him as his love and begin to partake more and more of the healing that he had paid for you to have. Healing is your blood bought. Is your blood bought right? Healing is your blood bought right. Fruitfulness is your blood bought right. Success is your blood bought right. Don't be robbed. Amen. Share this video and bless the soul. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not yet done so. Remember, you are highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly, 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 greatly blessed. Shalom. Bye-bye.